right, so I want to show you my seed starting setup here. Um, I have here growing San Marzano tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make a lot of tomato sauce this year. So I have here, uh, what have I got here? Two, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, roughly nine or ten trays of San Marzano tomatoes and uh, a couple other varieties also. So this setup here, what I did is last year I used these these uh, one or time one or two time use little pots here. As you can see, they're broke, they crack, um, they're fl flimsy plastic, and they don't last that long. Maybe a couple of uh, uses out of them, and then you can just basically throw them away like this one. So I ended up getting these here. These are much stronger. They're still very, very flexible, um, but they're much stronger, much more durable um, than those other ones I just showed you. Uh, these should last for many, many years and many uses. The trays that I'm using, these are uh, 10 by 20 inch trays. Now these are not super strong trays, uh, but they work just fine for this because you're just putting your, your uh, pots in here and you're, they're going to be just sitting in there uh, until you're ready to plant them outside. So these are perfect for what I'm doing here. Um, the shelving system here, I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to put everything in the description uh, below the video to where I got all this stuff. Uh, this little mini greenhouse has got four levels to it. Um, I got here growing, uh, what are these? These are my giant Marconi peppers and these are my uh, Goliath grillers. They're supposed to be spicy, but not too spicy, just the right amount of heat. And uh, as the name says, they're great on the grill. Uh, so are the, uh, the uh, Marconi peppers. Here I got uh, three different types of uh, eggplants growing. These lights here are a full spectrum grow light. I picked these up on Amazon. Uh, you connect these all up in series. They come in uh, six. Uh, you order six at a time. And uh, so I got here, I got two lights here, two, four, six. And I ordered another six set because I'm probably going to make another tray or another uh, shelving system uh, for more plants in the future. So here I got eight lights actually. But these lights are cool. They connect in series with these cords here. You can connect up to six at a time. Um, I have eight here, so I got six here in one plug and then these two are in a separate plug. But they're all connected to a timer. They come on at roughly 7 a.m. and they shut off here around 6, um, 6 p.m. So they're on um, most of the day. Um, same thing here, these, these lights are two foot long. I'm sorry, these here are four footers. These, are, these lights here are two footers here. Um, well again, same, same brand, uh, full spectrum light. You connect them in series and, um, and they've been working fantastic. All right, so this mini greenhouse here, it's very cool. Um, it's got four different levels. Uh, the front opening here, you could close a flap here, bring it all the way down and then zip. Got zippers on both sides, so you can zip all the way down. It keeps the moisture in there. Um, so uh, keeps everything warm in there also. So I don't need to keep this closed. And the reason for that is the house is fairly warm, but uh, underneath each, underneath each uh, tray here, I have some heating pads. Um, I'll put a link to that also down in the description where it keeps the, you need, you need heating pads, especially for peppers and eggplants. They like it warm to germinate. Um, it keeps it at roughly 75, 80 degrees of soil. So they'll germinate uh, quicker that way. All right guys, so as far as watering your plants, you can get yourself a little pump sprayer. And if you got a small setup or if you got something a little bigger like this, get yourself a one gallon uh, pump sprayer like this and it makes life a little easier when watering your plants. So you save your finger a lot of work. <laughs> also, it's a good idea when your seeds, 
seedlings start getting to up to about an inch or two tall, the roots are going to start going down and trying to find and trying to go deeper. Basically, um, it's a good idea to start take one of your pots out here and put probably a half inch of water, just enough, you know, to cover just the very bottom portion of your pots. What will happen is. You could be watering it on top, but it's not really going down that deep, that water. It's just staying up on the upper inch or so, the upper third of the pot. So if you, by putting water in your trays about a half inch or so, or just enough to cover the bottom portion of your pot, it, the water will wick up into the pot. And so when the roots go down deeper, they'll, they'll hit the water, uh, the moisture in the um, soil that you put in there. And um, that way you won't lose your little seedlings. So sometimes you'll be watering just a little bit on top. The roots are going down deep. They're not finding any water and your seedlings will die. So a good idea to put a little water here so they will, uh, uh, the, it'll wick up into the pot and uh, give your plants water that way also. All right, so as far as potting mix here for your seed starting, um, what I did is, now if you have a small setup, something you just got a few trays, you can go buy any store-bought um, uh, seed, uh, seed potting mix. But what I did is I got a little more here. I just mixed my own. So it's, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is get yourself some uh, peat moss, some vermiculite or perlite, either one, um, and some fertilizer. So uh, peat moss, I, I bought a big old bag. I think it's like three cubic feet. Uh, for it's like 11 or 12 dollars. The vermiculite and perlite, same thing, they got those in bags. Uh, I'm not sure what they run. Um, and some granular type fertilizer. And I used uh, Miracle Grow uh, Organic Performance, I think it's called, and um, sprinkled that in while I was mixing the peat moss. So, what I did is I got a big box, put the peat moss in there. Uh, sprinkled some uh, vermiculite or perlite and sprinkled in some um, miracle Grow performance organics in there and mix that in really good and uh, start putting them in these little pots here and then start putting your seeds in much less expensive that way if you got a little more quantity to you to do rather than just a few trays all right, so I hope this video helped you out in getting your seedling started. Uh, for those of you that live up north, you need to get this started pretty soon. Uh, we here are, uh, what are we, getting near the end of February now. And I started the seedlings here February 5th, and they are roughly two and a half weeks old now, and they're roughly two inches tall. Um, so we have a few more weeks here before I can put these outside. Uh, March 15th is usually the last frost date here. I usually wait another week after that. So near the end of March, I start putting everything outside uh, when uh, everything looks like there's not going to be any frost anymore. Um, so guys, again, everything here is in the description below the uh, video. And uh, again, thank you for watching my videos and please like, subscribe and share. And I will see you in my next video.